Welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at markers. So markers allow us to, as the name suggests, put down a marker and return back to that position wherever it is in the project with a keystroke. So it's uh, very useful for marking, you know, the beginning of verses, choruses, that type of thing, for example. Okay, so I'm in the VIP. Location, VIP window. We've got the music loaded that you hear when the YouTube video, you know, com uh, comes up. So it's this music. And we're just going to use it to set a few markers. I want you to hear that. So we'll go to the beginning. Bar one, beat one, tick zero. Okay, so the first thing we can do is use shift and the one through zero on the numbers row. That will allow you to set 10 markers and then you would press the corresponding number to move to that marker. So if I press shift and one, for example, to set a marker, I would press the number one to move to that marker. So let's try that. We'll just set two markers. So we're at the beginning. Bar one, beat one, tick zero. I'm gonna do one at the beginning. Shift and one. Marker one set. Bar one, beat one, tick zero. And it tells us that we've set it at that position. If you want to toggle that uh, speaking of the marker times, you can do that in the verbosity with JAWS key plus V. Um, so have a look at that. Or have a look at the video on verbosity. I'm gonna to go to bar three. Bar two, beat one, tick zero. Bar three, beat one, tick zero. And I'm gonna set marker two with shift and two. Marker two set. Bar three, beat one, tick zero. Okay. So now, when I press number one, marker one, bar one, beat one, tick zero. It tells we're at bar one. If I press two, marker two, bar three, beat one, tick zero. We're at bar three. So, and we can do that as it plays. So if we um, bar one, beat one, play the music. So press number one, marker one, bar one, beat one, tick zero. Press number one, marker one, bar one, beat one, tick zero. Press number two, marker two, bar three, beat one, tick zero. Press number one, marker one, bar one, beat one, tick zero. So it jumps immediately to that position which is really, really useful, like I say, for setting positions in your project. We can continue that with 10, and we can use those keystrokes, those numbers on the numbers row to move directly to those positions. Alternatively, we can use F4 to set an auto number, which means I've already set two. If I pressed F4, for example, it would set number three. Press it again, it would be four. And that would continue and continue. So it allows you to get more and more markers if you require more than 10. But if you want to move to those markers, you won't be able to do it with a keystroke. You would have to use the next set of keystrokes I'm going to show you, which is the next and the previous. So I'm going to go to right to the end of the project. Bar, bar, bar five, beat one, tick zero. So there, bar five, and I'm going to set an auto number with F4. Marker with auto number set, bar five, beat one, tick zero. So now we've got marker one at... Marker one, bar one, beat one, tick zero. At bar one, marker two. Marker two, bar three, beat one, tick zero. At bar three. And because we only set two markers with shift one and shift two, and we set marker three with F4, because it was auto number, so... It would set three if I press number three. Marker three, bar five, beat one, tick zero. Is at bar five. Okay, so that what's that's what F four does. It does it with auto number, and then if we press F two, it'll take us to the previous marker. Prior marker, bar three, beat one, tick zero. And press it again. Prior marker, bar one, beat one, tick zero. If I press F three, it'll take us to the next marker. Next marker, bar three, beat one, tick zero. Bar three. Next marker, bar five, beat one, tick zero. So you get the idea. So we can use keystrokes, shift and one through zero on the numbers row to move directly to that. Or we can use F2 and F3 to move to the next and previous markers. F4 allows you to set a marker with an auto number. We can also set a marker with a name, which means we can name the marker, but we won't be able to see it in the VIP. This is a purely visual thing and we would go into the marker manager. So let me just show you that, for example. Bar six, beat one, tick zero. Bar five, bar four, beat one, tick zero. So at bar four, we press control, shift, and the slash. Set marker with name, marker name dialog, marker name edit, and a test marker. Which is on the UK keyboard, right of the full stop, the period. And it's opened a dialog, and we're gonna call this test marker. Okay, and we press enter. enter. One piano strings. So as we've set a name for that one, we can find out its position 
by going to the marker manager with control alt shift and m marker manager open marker manager marker list 004 colon 01 colon 000 test marker okay so it tells us there if we go up 003 colon 01 colon 0002 so it tells us the the position first and it tells us the number so if i go up one more it will say the uh, bar 1 001 colon 01 colon 0001 and then it ends up with 1 which is marker 1 down arrow 003 colon 01 colon 0002 and then it's 2 it said 003 this is a, a bit more verbose the time here down arrow again 004 colon 01 colon 000 test marker so at bar 4 it says test marker okay so we know we've got the marker there and then you can move to that marker so we'll shut the marker manager with Control alt shift and m again marker manager closed one piano strings okay so that's um how we would set markers and move to the markers the marker with names isn't something i particularly use but you may want to use it but remember you need to go into the marker manager to um you know to go to it because it won't say the name even though it will still allow you to move to it with the f2 and f3 you know next and previous market but it won't say its name okay finally to delete markers we can press um, shift and f4 to delete one marker the marker we're on or control shift f4 to delete all markers so i will do all markers Control Shift F4. All markers deleted. Sample two dialog. Would you like to delete all markers? Delete button. And it gives us a dialog. Do we want to delete them? Yes, we do. One piano strings. I just press spacebar to confirm that, and then we're back to where it was with no markers. So let's just summarize. Shift one through zero, set a marker. One through zero, go to marker. F2, F3, prior, and next marker. F4 to set a marker with an auto number. Control Shift Slash, which is right of the full stop period on a UK keyboard to set a marker with a name. Then you would go into the marker manager with Control Alt Shift and M. Arrow down to that one to see its position and to move to it. And then if you want to delete markers, you press Shift and F4 when you're on the marker. So if I press three to move to marker three and immediately press shift and F4, it would delete number three marker or control shift F4 to delete all markers.